Allah told this woman not to look back when the ghazab was revealed but he disobeyed the order disobeying God's command is just looking back his whole body turned into a stone image the Quran has given detailed information about this woman the woman's name was Bila this woman was the wife of Hazrat Lut peace be upon him today i will discuss about the three most sinful women described in the Quran Brothers and sisters especially sisters i humbly request you to watch today's video till the end because all of you need to know about these three women if you know about their sins in detail then you can avoid that sin too Bila the wife of Lut peace be upon him came out first the land of israel is located in the lut sea or the dead sea where no living things currently live but once upon a time this place was full of greenery according to history this region was a piece of heaven on earth god has blessed this area so much people from other areas used to come to this area to do business two races lived there allah sent lut as a prophet when they indulged in some terrible sin which no other nation in the history of the world has done even during the reign of the worst ruler pharaoh such a sin was not organized and hazrat lut's wife was also involved in this sin friends their terrible sin was that the men of this race loved to associate with other men and women loved to associate with women allah taala says in the quran that they were indulging in the worst sins of the world the wife of lut alai salam whose name we get from history books is bila He did not misbehave with Hazrat Lut alai salam. He used to claim his rights as a wife, but secretly it encouraged those who indulged in this sin. Especially his parents and close relatives, he helped those who indulged in this vile sin. When Hazrat Lut returned home, then she treated him like a good woman. She used to hide her secret sins from her husband. Yes friends, This woman spent her whole life with the prophet and found no path of light. Lut, peace be upon him, told them for years to come out of this sin. He tried to scare them with the words of Allah. He said that if you do not come out of this sinful act, then you will face the divine wrath of Allah. The Holy Quran gives an example of the mentality of the worst people, which you all need to hear when Lut peace be upon him used to call them to the path of allah then they would say o oh lut we see that you are the most guided among the people on earth so much guidance and such a good mindset is not good he was not disoriented by these words he always advised them to follow the right path at one point allah sent some angels to lut alai salam with a very beautiful appearance they came as guests at lot's house History tells us that three angels came in human form. They were more handsome men than Hazrat Yusuf alaihi salam. The first time you see them, you will feel as if they have come from heaven. That's the reality. They came from heaven to earth in human form from Allah. The body structure of these three angels was very interesting. Bela, the wife of Hazrat Lut alaihi salam, saw these three Secretly he gave the information to the leaders of the sinners. Lut's wife said to them, "Brothers, my three noble men have come to Lot's house. Grab them this opportunity." Then the people of Lut went to his house and attacked him. They surrounded Lut's house from all sides. Lut alaihi salam understood the base needs of their hearts. "You said, O oh Lut, that three guests have come to your house." hand over those three guests to us when he realized why these guests were wanted by these people then lut said that is also in the holy quran he said o people o my brothers please marry women from my caste and fulfill your carnal needs with them they are holy guests to me hope from allah please do not misbehave with my guests do not physically abuse them then they got angry and said as said before we will not come out of our desire it is your fault why you bring these holy guests to our area lut so alai salam worried these three angels said you deliver us into their hands and leave this area with your families and relatives then hazrat ali salam understood immediately that this angel brought a terrible decision from allah 
they got those three angels and kept on nurturing evil desires in their minds. The sun was slowly sinking in this direction, then these three angels began to assume terrible forms. The entire star took on a monstrous shape, and from Allah began to send down terrible wrath. Such a terrible rumor was revealed on them, which has never happened in the history of this world and will never happen again. Even at the time of doomsday, people will not see such horrors. As these wretched sinners saw, the angels said and ordered them to leave the area before sunset. No one should ever look back. Terrible sounds will be roaring, flames will be red all around. But there is no looking back. Lord began to leave the area with his family including his wife and good people. They started running. At that time the sun went down. Then there was a terrible roar. As Lut Alayhis Salam told everyone there is no looking back. None of them looked back. But the wife of Lut Alayhis Salam could not be completely separated from her own race. Meanwhile, she could not even leave her husband. When the terrible sound came, he lost his mind and looked back. Then he immediately turned into stone. Lord said to all of them don't even look at this stone. Keep looking ahead, never look back. Then Lut's followers left the area without even looking back. The stone statue of the wife of Lut alayhis salam is still present on the mountain of Saddam. Those who will go to that area, they will see this stone statue, which is also called Lot's Wi-Fi pillar. Lot's wife is mentioned in every book of Torah, Jabbar, Injil. He is mentioned in the Bible today, a lesson to be learned from this story of Lot's wife. That secret sin cannot be committed, no matter how well you dress yourself up in public. Two and the third woman is Herodias and his daughter. It would not be wrong to call Herodias the most notorious woman in the world. This woman committed a sin due to which even after thousands of years, people still remember them. Maybe people will not forget this woman until the end of the day. This woman committed such a heinous sin. These women and the sins of women are mentioned in various holy books. This woman is mentioned in the Holy Bible and also mentioned in various holy books of Islam. This woman is hated by Christians and Muslims. The story begins 2000 years ago. In Rumi civilization before the birth of Jesus a small part of Palestine was under the king of Rum. The king of Rome put a king named Herod the Great in charge there. Herod the Great was the king of that region. At that time Herod the Great's horse farm. There lived a very poor man. He had a daughter named Herodias. And Herodias was very beautiful. When she became a young woman, she won the hearts of all the people of Jerusalem because of her beauty. The nobles of Jerusalem wanted to marry Herodias. The problem is that Herodias was more arrogant than she was beautiful. She thought that only the king of any kingdom could marry her. After Herod the Great established an establishment he held great festivals in his palace. All the people of the kingdom were invited there, including many dignitaries of Jerusalem. Herod the Great's family was present there. There Philip, the younger son of Herod the Great, caught the eye of Herodias. At the first viewing of the film, Herodias was impressed by its appearance. Although Herod the Great's grandson Philip was already married, at that time it was normal for a king of a country to have several marriages. And soon Philip married Herodias, thus the dream of Haladius was fulfilled. Which has been watching all along, that is, her dream of becoming a queen. And in front of him were the things he had wanted since childhood. Philip had no children by his first wife. So Philip was hoping that Herodias would give him a child, who will be the next heir of his kingdom. Despite her best efforts, Herodias could not become a mother. Because of this he also started to worry a lot. A maid in Herodias' court told him that there is an old woman in a cave located some distance away, who can answer all questions. Hearing this, Herodias decided to go to the cave with the maid. When Herodias met that old woman, the old woman said that she would be a mother someday, and will have a child that the whole world will always remember. 
Herodias was very happy to hear this. The old lady said, People will not remember your child for good deeds all his life. All his life people will remember him for his bad deeds and he will be transformed into an abominable woman. Herodias was very sad to hear this. Fortunately, after some time Herodias gave birth to a daughter, which was named Salome. This time Salome, daughter of Herodias, could not win father Philip's heart, because Philip wanted a son, who will be the next heir to his kingdom. Because of this, Herodias' value in Philip's court continued to decline. It was at this time that Philip's father, Herod the Great, died. All the kingdoms under Herod the Great were distributed among his sons. The poorest and smallest part of Herod the Great's kingdom fell to Philip. The most powerful and richest regions of Herod the Great's kingdom fell to his eldest son, whose name we get from history as Antipas or Herod II. Herod the Great's funeral was attended by all his sons. Philip came with his queen Herodias, the Herodias met Antipasus for the first time. Herodias now wanted to get rid of Philip because Herodias' value to him had decreased. So Herodias decided to leave Philip and go to Antipas. So he charmed Antipas with his first appearance, then day by day the relationship between them deepened. Herodias took a promise from Antipas, who would keep Herodias as a special queen after marriage. One day after the promise, Herodias took an opportunity and ran away from Philip's house. Let us tell you that Yahya, the son of Hazrat Zakaria was showing the way of Allah to the people in Palestine at this time. He was guiding people to the good path and advising them to avoid the bad path. Yahya alayhi sallam was very soft-hearted and very sweet in speech. So the person who met him once became his lover. Although Yahya alayhi salam was soft in heart, he could not tolerate bad deeds at all, tried to speak against bad deeds. When Antipas married Herodias, Yahya alayhi salam said to Antipas, What you are doing is absolutely wrong. You cannot marry your brother's wife. Antipas heard nothing of him. No action was taken against him by any influential person. When Herodias found out about this, Yahya then imprisoned Alai Salam and made him water his garden. From time to time, Herodias began to ask her husband Antipas for the death sentence of Yahya. But Antipas never did such a thing. Meanwhile Philip and Herodias' daughter Salone. She also left her mother's beauty behind. He was practiced in the whole state. He was looking at the garden one day, and his eyes fell on Hazrat Yahya Alai Salam. And seeing the light and innocent face of Hazrat Yahya alayhi sallam, he immediately fell in love with him. Then Salome called Yahya alayhi sallam to her house by her servant. Invited to do pawn with him, Yahya replied that far from doing lewd things with you, it is a sin for me to see you. Hearing this, Salome was furious with anger, for the form by which that great king turned there away from marriage. This woman was returned by a man who looked like a fakir. Because of this, the fire of revenge continued to burn in Salome's heart. Yahya vowed in his heart to avenge his use. Unfortunately, that time has come. One day it was Antipas' birthday. On his birthday, Antipas invited many great kings and queens to his palace. And all the kings were present there. At this time Herodias approached Antipas and said, I will give you an amazing and strange gift. My daughter will perform daily for you today. Let us tell you this birthday day to perform daily. Herodias had been training his daughter for several years. To please King Antipas, he can be made the next heir to the kingdom. Then Salome began to dance in front of the kings in full court. The king and the guests did not bat an eye continued watching this vulgar and dirty routine. When the routine is complete, then the king asked him, What do you want? I will give you what you want today. And Salome understood such an opportunity. He asked the king for the order to kill Yahya alayhi sallam, as the king had promised him in front of the dignitaries. So he could not take it back. And this is how Hazrat Yahya sallam died.
You must have heard that as the action is the result. That's exactly what happened to this mother and her daughter. After the death of Yahya alayhis salam, the king of Ram was displeased by one of Antipas's words. Anti ordered his troops to attack the neighboring kingdom. Then the followers of the Ram king brutally defeated Antipas. Antipas and Herodias were being led into the room in handcuffs. People were throwing stones at them, whomever they tortured. The king of Ram dropped them off in a deserted desert in Spain. And there they both died of hunger. And Salome spent the rest of her life in prison. These two women, mother and daughter, are infamous throughout the world for killing the Prophet of God, Yahya alayhi sallam. People will look at them with disgust until the destruction of the world. If you want a part 2 video of the most sinful women in the world, then definitely tell in the comments. Everyone will be fine. Take care of yourself.